In today's lesson, we're gonna go over how to draw the capybara from Encanto. Encanto is a great animated movie. I've drawn a lot on it. If you wanna know anything about that, I have a playlist on how to draw all the characters from Encanto, and I'm adding to it a little bit more now with the animals. Um, so let's get started with this capybara right now. Okay, let's go over how to draw the this capybara from uh, Encanto here. All right. Let's get going over here. First thing I do is I'm gonna draw the snout, the top, kind of the mouth area. Wow, this marker is like toast. Let me say, let's see if this marker works better. It is a little better. Top of the snout, curve. Much better though. <laughs> let me see, curve. And as I get to the bottom, so the the capybara snout there is very. Uh, square but as i get to the bottom here i'm gonna do this because hair is gonna hang downward you know line over here curve down all righty gonna go maybe up here it's gonna have a little bit of a forehead shape curve over here for the ear out down curve down here out here for the ear and in so you have his ear you have his inner ear right there his inner ear and then the outer ear is kind of hanging around on the outside of it if that makes sense <sighs> pretty small as far as proportion to the head and let's do it here for the back of the, of the ear on the far end of the far side of his head all right we're gonna go over here and draw the back of his head so we're gonna pull down Curve line here. Back. Down. And then over here on this side, don't forget to donate, like I said, <laughs> if you can. I have like all these markers. Uh, basically every single dime uh, you donate goes to uh, the channel, it goes to the markers. Line over here, by the way, uh, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna give it like a, um, see, so basically the back of the jaw, I wanna signify that with hair. Like that, see how that's hair right there? Go over here on this side. His eye, he's gonna have like a droopy eye. Like that stuff is adorable. Line over here for that droopy eye ball, uh, eyelid. Curve underneath and eye on the inside. I love eyes like that because it just looks like they're very unimpressed, you know? It's just a very cute thing to do. So I love that. Gonna draw a little bit of the bag under the eye here. We're gonna go over here to the front and draw kind of a big nostril area. They tend to have. I'm gonna go zigzag down here. Now the chest area. And he's gonna be sitting down, as a lot of them are. So back, line back here. Shoulder. Underarm here. He's like sitting down. Zigzagging up for the back of the elbow there. And we're gonna have his, I think they have like little like pads or something like that on their fingers, really interesting. And there's a, gonna be a separation color there. I think at the end, they're, they're kind of put off like that. I'm gonna draw a flat line here for the stomach because it's sitting down. That's funny, because when I saw these in, in Kanto, I was like, wow, what a great idea to have these out, out in there. Here's more fingers, this is the hind leg, down. Another finger, curve, curve. Zigzag here, in, up. For kind of that hind leg, he's sitting down on it. Over here, he's sitting on his rear. And then now you need like the leg folded up in the back. For animals like that, they always have that curve 
and then it's gonna zigzag down. This zigzag is always, and I mean always, the zigzagging is a um, sign of furriness. At least for, for when you, it's on the animal here. Meaning the fur is kind of falling, like not falling off, but the fur is going to go and doing that. You can throw little lines over here as an add-on, like it's kind of hairy, you know. But that's it as far as this goes. Um, do me a huge favor and share the video if you do like this kind of stuff. Uh, Encanto is one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. So uh, if you really enjoy it as well, I want it to kind of like, because I don't know, I feel like the animals were a big part of it, obviously, but... Not like a huge part of it. The animal I remember the most, which I'll draw later, will be like, I think the jaguar, right? Or leopard. I want to draw that guy. But that was the biggest part I remember that. These are really cute on the side there. Um, but I want to make these more important. So uh, share the video somewhere as well. Uh, maybe put it um, on Twitter, on Reddit, or anything like that. Um, also, uh, don't forget to say hi to me in the comment section. That stuff's always amazing. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and I love hearing about what you, you know, pretty much what kind of issues you had with the drawing lesson. So, uh, thank you so much. I will see you in the very next video and I will talk to you really soon. So stick around for the announcements after this. Okay. See you later. Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here how to draw a dragon head I have anime I have cartoons there's categories for everything and everything is for beginners um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it this is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons so you can go through the entire site see everybody else's lessons and normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month um, because you're watching this video right now if you're still watching right now you get it for free for at least a month 
like 30 days that's a lot um, but just you, what you have to do is go over here to the video go down first link in the description the very very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days um, you just go over here you click this thing boom and then you sign up um, and it's super easy and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing you never pay a cent and you got all this learning from it uh, but yeah like I said that's uh, an option for you guys uh, if you guys want to do it absolutely go hit that up um, and that's it so talk to you later and uh, hopefully I'll see I'll catch you over there later thank you so much you are amazing uh, over here on the right, you're going to see my most recent upload. And on the top corner over here, you're going to see just another selection, another cool selection that has to do kind of with the subject of this video. Uh, and over here at the top, you can hit the subscribe to see a lot more. Uh, this is awesome, and I'll see you next time.